welcome back to my mom life. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Jordan and today we're making red velvet lava cakes in the pressure cooker. Here's a look at all of the ingredients that you're going to need. You're gonna need one red velvet cake mix. You can use any brand, whatever you like. And then you're gonna need some cooking spray. You'll also need some glass dishes that will fit down in your pressure cooker. I like to use these Pyrex dishes. Um, to cook your lava cakes in. Then you're gonna need three eggs and also some oil and water, just the amount that the back of the box says. I think mine was like a one and a quarter cup of water. And then this is the filling, so you're gonna need half a cup of white chocolate chips, a little bit of vanilla extract, a quarter cup of white sugar, and then an eight ounce package of cream cheese softened. So the first thing that you need to do is melt your white chocolate chips. So I have those melted, just melt them in your microwave. And then I am going to put my softened cream cheese into a bowl and I'll add in my white chocolate chips, the white sugar and the vanilla extract and give it a good stir until everything is nice and combined. Okay, now that we have the filling all combined, you're going to take a cookie scoop or a large spoon and scoop out as many of these lava cakes as you're gonna make. You're gonna need a filling for each one. So I'm making four, so I'm making four fillings. I'll divide this, um, this filling equally into fourths. So I'm just gonna use my cookie scoop and do my best to get it as equal as possible. And you want them kind of in balls. You can't really form them into balls because the um, cream cheese is so soft right now, but that's okay. This is good enough in, a, in kind of like a round ball shape. And then we're gonna pop this plate into the freezer while we make the cake batter. So this plate goes into the freezer for a little bit until we are ready for them. Now we're gonna mix up our cake batter. So I have my red velvet cake mix. And then like I said, you're just gonna follow the instructions on the back of the box. So you're gonna add in your water and oil and your three eggs. Now that we have our cake batter all ready, it's time to throw this together. So I have a metal trivet down in the bottom of my pressure cooker, and then I'm gonna add a cup of water. This metal trivet came with one of my pressure cookers. I, I have a few, so <laughs> I don't remember which one. Then you're gonna spray your glass dish. Now I can only fit one of these at a time in this particular pressure cooker, so just make sure that it fits and it's even, and you can do these in batches. So I'm just gonna do one at a time, and you're gonna fill it up about three quarters of the way full, and then you're gonna add in one of your cream cheese centers. That's why mine are so big because my dish is quite large, but if you have smaller dishes, then go ahead and make those centers smaller. And then I'm just gonna top, top it with a little bit more cake batter to cover the cream cheese center. This doesn't rise much, so don't worry about it overflowing, but don't go like way to the top, just kind of right there, you know what I mean? So now you're gonna add that to the trivet in your pressure cooker, put your lid on. If you need to set your valve to seal, go ahead and do that. And then you're gonna pressure cook these on high for 12 minutes. And then as soon as the 12 minutes is up, you can quick release the pressure. Just use a metal, or a, just use a wooden spoon or something to release that pressure. And then you can open your lid and they are done. Now, like I said, I'm doing mine in batches. So this is my first one. And you're gonna carefully remove that trivet 
as you can see I was a little wobbly carefully take that out so that you can get your lava cake out and um, it's going to be pretty jiggly so you want to set it to the side and let it cool in its container for a few minutes before you try and flip it otherwise it'll just slide all over the place so now that I have my first one done, I'm gonna add a little bit more water to my pot because some of that did come out through the steam. And then I'm gonna place my next lava cake down in there, cook that one for 12 minutes. And while that one's cooking, I'll go ahead and plate up the first one that I made. So to get these out of the um, dish that you cook them in, just go ahead and plop them over onto your plate. I like to put the plate upside down and then turn it right side up together if that makes sense and then you should be able to get a little air in to the glass dish to be able to release that lava cake and this is what it looks like this is what it looks like when it is plated up i just dusted mine with some powdered sugar the cream cheese thinner is so soft and gooey and delicious. These are so yummy. If you like red velvet and cream cheese, you're gonna love these. I have also done like a traditional chocolate lava cake and I will link that recipe for you if you're interested in that one. Also, if you want the ingredients, directions, or anything, check the description box. I'll have it all written out for you down there. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye, guys.